God is so good. God is so good and great. Dios es bueno. God is good. God is so good. My God is good. Let me tell you why God is so good. Let me tell you what he's done for me. Welcome to Tech Testimony Tuesday. We're super, super excited for this week's episode. You know why, Jason? We're super excited to give you some beautiful news about Rio Grande and the camera. Yes! These are our official keys to the 10th School of Ministry. Yes! Glory to God! So, we have an amazing show for you guys today yes. with some of the testimonies of the volunteers who came out with us on this trip. And if you're interested in joining us on the next trip, which will be in February, please visit us at health.tentnyc.org. So before we get to the show, Jason. Please don't forget, guys, to support us by subscribing on the link below and hitting the little bell on the left-hand side and hitting this notification button. We also got a lot of beautiful things in store for you with the upcoming updates. So me and Lily are going to give those updates to you, right, Lily? And if you want to be a part of a mission trip, please comment below and leave us a message and we'll be more than glad to reach out to you. So hope you enjoyed this week's episode and see you soon. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Bye. One of the most memorable times that I had in Puerto Rico was how God responded to our prayer prior to going to Puerto Rico. I was talking with Jason and um, and I was telling him that my sister suffered great damage in her house and that um, she's still without a roof. Uh, neither that I know was that he knew some people in Puerto Rico um, helping build houses and um, without hesitation um, Jason just asked me for my sister information and contact him and from the 30 people in the list she became number one uh, on the list and all the supplies were given to build the house and fix her house and in all that transaction when we came and delivered the merchandise to build her house um, we impacted the community and we impacted my sister that uh, it came to the point that she even gave her self to the Lord that night and the end of the night we gathered all together to pray and even people who were non-believers and people who were believer uh, we made a circle and we pray and it was the most glorious moment to me because we were honoring God. And I know the angels were having a great time and celebrating this victory. And that was such a beautiful moment in my life, knowing that another member of my family has came to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to say the whole trip was glorious and honorable. And God continue to answer prayers and continue to help us and continue to give us grace and mercy throughout the whole thing. The most memorable things on this trip was when we went to the men's rehab center and we were going to ask for help, but God had another agenda and we were able to minister to the man in charge and God directed me to speak into his life and direct that his back was in a lot of pain and I just kept seeing it and I was like all right God if you want me to pray for his back I, I'll do it and after everyone stopped talking I just decided to allow the Holy Spirit to use me and I said God touch this man's back and then I just spoke to the man and I said listen man you've been suffering from back pain the Holy Spirit has showed me and just want to pray for your back and just started praying being obedient to the Lord and once I started praying for him I saw that God was just touching him and it ministered to his life and he was telling me that he's been in so much pain and it was just a blessing to me because through my obedience praying for this man and him receiving his healing it brought the rest of the men that were in the center to come and just ask for prayer and then me and the rest of the team just went and ministered and let the Holy Spirit guide us and we were praying specifics for what these men needed and they were just breaking down crying and to see how they were just breaking down and just coming together to receive what God had for them was such a blessing to me. Um, and also to see how the team, you know, 
pulled together and just allow God to use us in many ways and how we just had such a great time and so many laughs that we enjoyed each other's company. Dios le bendiga, amados hermanos, es para mí un placer en este día dar el testimonio para darle la gloria y la honra a Dios, como Dios es grande y poderoso, como Dios ha obrado en nosotros y siempre seguirá obrando, trabajando con Terminister. Cuando fui a Puerto Rico vi la gloria de Dios tan, tan real y tan preciosa en nosotros, como Dios obró en una forma especial, proyendo los materiales para el campamento, gente que nos dieron su ayuda voluntariamente, nos quedamos en una casa misionera donde Dios se manifestó en forma especial. Dios es tan grande, tan poderoso, que sigue bendiciendo a este ministry y va a seguir bendiciendo de una forma en especial. Fue una experiencia tan preciosa y tan bonita para mí. La primera vez que fui con ellos fue una experiencia bonita. Esta segunda vez fue más maravillosa porque Dios es bueno, Dios es grande. Dios nos prometió tantas cosas tan bonitas que nos está dando lo que prometió nos está dando al pie de la letra, porque Dios que lo promete, lo cumple. Dios es grande y poderoso y para siempre su misericordia. Doy gracias a Dios por su bondad, porque hasta ahora, cuesta para venecer, el venecer hasta aquí nos ha ayudado Jehová. Doy gracias a Dios por su amor, por su misericordia y que Dios le bendiga a todos. Y todo aquel que quiere llegar a nuestro ministerio, está bienvenido para trabajar con nosotros en el amor de Cristo. Dios le bendiga. Amén. My experience on this trip was nothing short of amazing. I mean, God had divine appointments for us literally at every turn. Uh, there was one morning in particular that we got up early and we finished our work. It was pouring. But Jason wanted to take his father to El Yunque since he'd never been. So we drove to the top of the mountain and honestly it was pouring so hard. I didn't even feel like getting out the car. But at one point, we stopped at this overlook and the sky just completely cleared out. All the clouds just dissipated and the sky was very clear. And so I got out the car and we're there admiring the beauty of nature and taking pictures when all of a sudden this woman comes up from behind us and she asks if we want her to take our picture. We strike up a little friendly conversation with her and soon enough we find out that she is from Indianapolis and that her and her husband are there doing relief in Puerto Rico as well and that her husband is a contractor and he had come to Puerto Rico just trusting in God and, and his direction um, because God wanted him to build something and he wasn't sure exactly what it was and so we didn't miss an opportunity to share about the 10th school of ministry and what God has been doing in and through us. We invited them to come right then and there to come see the property and they didn't hesitate. They wanted to. So we drove them up to the 10th school of ministry. We brought them in. They were completely amazed at this place and how beautiful it was, how big it was. And more importantly, They were amazed at the vision. They were able to see what God was doing in this place. And they saw that it had much potential. And so as we were there in the house and we finished giving them a tour and talking more about who we were and our purposes and our goals, we prayed together. We formed a circle. We joined hands and we worshiped. And when that woman prayed, In her prayer, she asked God to direct them as to how he wanted them to be a part of this amazing vision. And so we're super excited because many more appointments just like that were put into place. And God is still doing, as soon as we got back, still doing great and mighty things. I mean, we're getting phone calls from people stating that they want to help us install solar panels for free, you know, and they want us to help us do electricity for free and materials and building materials for free. And God is just opening up floodgates of heaven. So we're super excited for what God is about to do. And we've been leading for big things in 2019 for the 10th School of Ministry in Puerto Rico.